Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of The Topping Show is probably sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added reseller and services company with a special proficiency IT security. Heck, I see a founder at least twice a day. Guys, he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, you see, that's the joke. If you're an IT leader or business owner, reach out to the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Also, still trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button and tell your friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, going over to the business part of the podcast, you have Apple TV Plus coming to Prime Video. Now, not to brag, but I'm probably 1% of Americans who do not own Amazon Prime. I joke, it's probably more like 4 or 5 6%, but one of those things are back in my day, you can wait a couple days to get your non-necessary, non-necessary products, and so it's like a cheap form of gambling. You don't know when is your whey protein going to come in the mail. Who knows? You really need it in 24 hours or less, but I partially digress on that ridiculous luxury that so many people take for granted. Now, this comes to us thanks to TheBurge.com, specifically Jess, who's a writer over there. She says, quote, Apple TV Plus is coming to Prime Video. Prime Video customers in the U.S. can soon access Apple TV Plus content for an extra $9.99 per month. Now, don't forget, you get uh, you have to take the extortion, I mean the uh, sales tax on top of that. So it's obviously going to be much more than $10, depending on where you live. Texas, it's a 8.25% sales tax. So good marketing, because again, people in America, especially psychology, they'll think, oh, it's $9. Because it's not, it's $9.99. It's a retail phenomenon. No, it's much more than $10 because never forget the sales tax where so many, pay, so many places have that on top of the myriad of other taxes they charge us. But I partially digress on that point. Now, they continue to in the article saying oh, there's a nice big Apple logo there, Apple TV Plus. They say, quote, Apple's adding Apple TV Plus to Prime Video, a move that could help bolster the iPhone maker's languishing streaming service, which is hilarious that, you know, Apple started as a very innovative, you know, computer company, and throughout the years they made a myriad of products. Some flopped, some did well, and now they're known as a phone maker because, again, by buying products sold. I mean, don't get me wrong, the iPhone Banana Falcon 12, 15 plus red model around is huge, and people buy those things in droves. I mean, it's admirable from a business perspective the culture that Apple has built to the point where people are willing to pay. That some they know that it's more than fifty percent profit for those little knickknacks that they sell. Not to be rebel, but. I'm the one guy in my family still holding out. I got the Android. They haven't got me yet. But I partially digress. They say Apple TV Plus will be on the platform later this month, being $9.99 add on. The same be otherwise paid directly to Apple, which very interesting because that's going to be less profitable for Apple in terms of per unit sold because obviously Amazon is going to take a bite of that. Some might say they're going to take a bite of that Apple. Pun intended, obviously. They say the difference is now that Apple TV Plus is being promoted directly on Amazon's massive video subscriber base. Now, Prime Video head Mike Hopkins at Bloomberg uh, reported, say, quote, What we offer channel partners is hundreds of millions of subscribers around the world. We see a lot more engagement. We're able to get subscribers for those businesses at a really attractive rate, which, you know, unquote, which is true. You get that massive volume of users, be able to bolster the overall volume of units sold. Now, they say that for Amazon, Apple TV Plus joins over, well, this is more than I thought. 100 streaming services add-ons already available through the Prime Video channels. So, def- looks like having Apple TV Plus available with the Prime Video isn't quite the same. Looks like you also have competitors like Comcast, which is combining Netflix, Peacock, and Apple TV Plus offerings, but the goal is the same. Everyone wants to get more consumers. Which, I don't know. I mean, my, I, I'm definitely not the core demographic or the core prospective client when it comes to Apple products. Truth be told, I think the last one I got was, I, was it the iPod Nano 10? I saw the good old OG click wheel when I was in college. I think that was the last Apple product I bought. I won an iPad at an IT raffle like six years ago, which ironically, I mainly used it to prop up my you know month to-do list on my desk. But yeah, well, I think that was the last Apple product I got. Definitely not, for the, definitely, I'm not their consumer. But yeah, well, I, I have friends who love Apple and I do respect the, they do have some great cybersecurity from a phone perspective. I, yeah, I appreciate that. But in terms of Apple TV Plus, I couldn't name one good program on that. Granted, I mostly read books in my very little free time, but yeah, well, let, me know the, let me know in the comments. Is there anything on Apple TV Plus where you're more than willing to pay this rate for? And yeah, especially because it's not a discounted rate. It's very interesting. It's going to be the same price. So does that I mean, I'm trying to think of the compelling reason. If you're a consumer, why not just go Apple Direct? Because again, you have to pay the same price. Just check. Maybe it's easier just to click an extra button, have your Amazon bill go up and get again. But yeah, for the life of me, I couldn't tell you one single quality program on Apple TV+. Plus. I mean, undoubtedly, this will increase their sales because, again, you get access to that massive new audience. But, 
mean, let me know in the comments. When was the last time you actually thought of Apple TV Plus? Can you can you name a single you know exceptional program on there that you'd be willing to pay for? And are you more likely to buy it because it's going to be on the Amazon platform? Let me know in the comments because, as always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know I can make sure better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.